So um, today I'm going to discuss um, how what are the steps that we follow when we construct a building and what is the role of a uh, structural engineer in the construct building construction methodology. And so I'm going to start with a fresh. Yeah, this one. So I'm just uh, talking about initially. There could be any building. Either it could be reinforced concrete building or steel construction. So for now, I'm going to discuss reinforced concrete building. Uh, there are there are several things that could that a engineer could face in his entire life. That is, it they it might be a basement issue. It might be loose soil below the buildings, or it could be a different beam form. There could be some precast elements so and each one of them has different method methodology and and there, there is a different way to tackle that there is a different construction program for that method statement for that so i'm just starting with a um, simple reinforced concrete building that that people see in day-to-day -day life so I'm, I'm going to start with rcc building uh here with a basic building i mean just we have the foundation and above that we have column then beam and above that we have slab and the building container yeah, in this form so it's uh when when you construct from bottom to top it called bottom up construction there could be two form top down bottom up I will discuss that in a separate video. Uh, generally, top down is used for bridge, bridge construction, and for buildings, the most preferable form is bottom up. Okay. So, in this video, I'm also going to discuss what could be a simple uh, way to draw. A building when you are designing when you are fixing a conceptual design because sometimes uh, I notice that an engineer can design a building but he even don't know how to draw a beam with a actual proportion and with a, with a good expert ratio the simple way to do is first of all is going let's suppose uh, I have a room that is uh, spanning 8 meter by 8 meter and the height could be 3 meter so the best way to do is just draw a straight line at the bottom straight and you take a center line of it this is center line and so you have 8 meters so you have to take four divisions on each side one two three four and you have one two three four make sure that it is approximately equal because you can't me measure it with scale try to avoid scale as much you can then you will get the perfection in drawing uh, all the structural element it could be a rough one but it is very beneficial in your entire life so this is this is eight meters and three meters so if you have assumed this is one meter so this is one two three now draw straight line this is your single stroke okay great this is you now so let's see this is center line of one column this is center line of second column and this is your let's see floor finish and this is another floor finish now this for the floor finish there are three zones in a in terms of structural point of view there are two zones one is um structural depth and another one is service service uh, zone uh, so uh, in the structural zone we have two things that is slab and beam so i'm just drawing a uh, slab is um, let's say 200 mil and this could be this is your slab and there will also be a downstand beam this is downstand beam you just you have a beam that might be crossing into the plane yes ok 
Okay, this might be a common. Let's do some continuation. This is continuation, and yeah, let's hash this portion because we are cutting it. Now this is more realistic. So you can see this is eight thousand mil, and this is three thousand mil. Good. Okay. So this is a basic sketch arrangement. Just try to. draw as much you can and you will get the expertise uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm still working on it I'm also not very much expert on it but yeah, I'm trying my best to shake it to showcase all the necessary uh, tools that you need to have a, to become a good engineer this is okay so this is slab this is downstand beam. Downstand means the beam which has depth lower than slab coming, or will I say it will look something like this? Yeah, so this is downstand. It might be the other way around. Let's say slab. So this would be upstand. This is downstand beam. This is RCC column. And this is floor finish. I'm not drawing the blow structure again because this is this would be similar to that floor finish. Great. Now this is uh, one thing that we have developed. The other thing is how to draw construction uh, sequence. So what is construction sequence first of all? Construction sequence. Construction sequence uh, is the very key aspect because let's suppose you design a building and you say that this is the reinforcement arrangement and something you say concrete grade, everything you have mentioned in your drawings, but you haven't shown that how to build that and if you don't know how to build that there's no point of giving a bulk of drawings and design report if you know a person who can make it and if you know that a person uh, the, the steps that a person need to follow so that he can make it very easily they record the engineering skills so uh, I'm just talking about simple construction sequence first. This initially what we see is we have ground level. Whenever we have a this is I'm talking about new construction. So we have a ground level first, and now this is uh, after cutting and filling. Generally, ground terrain might be. Uh, something like that but after labeling we get a straight line ground level now uh, what generally happens is we have plinth level somewhere at this level let's say 800 mil above ground level this is this we, we always try to keep plinth level above ground level too for many reasons just like uh, the water that is flowing on the road uh, won't come inside and also there is road repair work that is going on every day and they might increase the road level so uh, it won't happen that your plinth level is lower than so this kind of buffer we take in our buildings because you don't construct building every day this is done now Let's, I'm just drawing this building with a construction sequence. Center line of this building. Again, 
we'll try to use a simple this is one two three four one two three four and okay so let's just initially draw a straight line like this okay. so this is four divisions it's not necessary if you're expert in that it's always actually to start drawing the light lines using a pencil width which has lower lower grade now so we know that here we need to place our curve the other way is here we need to place our second curve okay. now foundation depth a person might have um, shear and we have designed this isolated footing so let's say it's um, 2 meter down or 1.5 meter down so this is one this, this is would be the foundation base level so I'm just uh, placing foundation like this okay now placing foundation uh, you can't play, you need to do the trench cutting for doing that With the trench cutting and the same thing you will do on the other side trench cutting here as well so this is this is soil this is soil. you just excavate all of them after excavating you um, propose a footing with a place of reinforcement cage and this footing is there this is concrete this is concrete after doing that um, you leave a reinforcement cage for columns and then you lift this column like this you come to certain level as these columns after that once you go above ground level you can backfill it using a good quality soil not the previous one just many people do that it's better to if you are replacing the soil it's better to use a new one it's not that costly but yeah it sometimes it's it adds a good amount of cost in the project okay so this part is completed so i'm going to denote uh, the rainfall uh, concrete part with orange color so you can better understand what has been constructed and what has not been constructed till now so we have constructed footing we have constructed partial part of uh, uh, column and this is my soil profile Great. okay now constructing we will extend the column to this is three meters let's check uh, we have achieved one two three four Good. this is the level we have to achieve we go to this level complete our column first and try to leave some reinforcement coming out of this column uh, the reason behind uh, this is that you need to fix a uh, beam reinforcement to this cage so that you get the movement rigidity because otherwise um, you will have a sink to support the beam and that won't serve the purpose in terms of lateral cases in terms of seismic or lateral hazards so this is we have made this then the concrete and this is reinforcement coming out now you will place off uh, also uh, for everything you need to set up a form work this could be a uh, plywood or steel whichever suits better and what is a uh, size of the project generally if the size is smaller then uh, it is easy it is better to use plywood because you don't have to use it again and if the size of project is quite big 
then it's better to use good quality form work to so that you can use it again and again and that it actually reduces the cost of your entire project now now i'm, I'm just talking about this beam you so now you place a form work and here the beam uh, reinforcement cage and the slab reinforcement cage you need to tie first all together because for the slab and beam the casting the concrete pouring would be will be done together it is not something that you just do it for beam first and do the slab later on it's always better to place do the concreting all together to have a better bond also you can do in pores but it's better to do it in one go so we have a beam reinforcement as you can go pass through this you have some cage and uh, cage uh, from for both the beam and column together and you just fix it together and just finish this thing After doing that, after doing such things, you have passed it. Doing this, uh, there is some floor finish. That all be, uh, also there would be some brick masonry wall. Either it is, I'm just giving example. So this all brick work will be done. Um, once you complete a one floor, you can do brick work of that floor, and you can cast. Uh, you, you can do the uh, concreting of upper floors and. Um, and you can just uh, keep so that this will reduce the construction progress construction duration and also you can finish your building very sooner so that's all for today uh, I hope uh, this was um, this was very beneficial to you and if you like to learn something else if you are particular with any topic just uh, mention that in the comment section and uh, just subscribe structure video for new updates also please visit our website you you will uh, see some blogs uh, learning resources and i i am re uh, regularly updating all the learning resources i'm regularly adding that so you can just uh, visit website you know we are on social media instagram uh youtube and linkedin so just keep yourself updated with all our posts and information thank you very much